Now this is the in scale layout of Peterborough circa 1968 when all three gauges of railway were running in Peterborough. Uh, used to be a big railway town. Um, up the other end at the moment, we've got the steam train that comes in on the Tarawi line, comes down the main street of Peterborough, crosses over the main lines, and then goes out the Oruru line, which in this instance then goes down underneath of the board, comes out through a tunnel. This side of the board is just anywhere basically just to turn the trains around so they can go back through Peterborough. So then that goes back up and back along the Tarawi line and back through again. Now on the other side of it is the Indian Pacific line which comes in from the uh, Perth side of Peterborough along Railway Terrace and here comes the Commonwealth Railways locomotives comes in goes down the main straightaway and um, I have to time these right because otherwise right where the steam locomotives are about to go over there's a bit of an Uncle Pester moment for those that know what I'm talking about with the Adams family and they crash uh, as I say this is circa 1968 when all the gauges were in use um, this is also a day night display well I'll let it be light okay so same with this side um, so pretty much turn off the lights and yeah I've cut away some of the buildings um, there are little people in there there's about 200 of them around here six millimeters tall it'll let it be painted uh, let's see down the main street you come in you've got the old hut on the side of the road There's the entrance into the roundhouse and the turntable area. Just coming down the main street is the Orrery Road. Some of the cars and trucks have headlights as well, like that semi right there. And um, also another car there with the headlights and tail lights on. Houses also have lights. There's also <coughs> traffic signal lights, which are uh, infrared sensored. So when the trains go through, the traffic signal lights come on. Uh, council buildings and the post office. And one of the road trains I put together myself. You can't buy road trains, you can buy trucks. So I made up um, some B doubles and different road trains. The old turntable at Railway Terrace and Silver Street for the old ice factory uh, when that used to be here in Peterborough when everybody wanted ice. And the old Peterborough train station with the outside toilet block on the end. Uh, as I said before, there's Railway Terrace coming down and along. Um, I'm just going to be quick for a moment because I can see. No, they're going to miss each other. That's alright. Oh, we'll be close. Oh, yep, yeah, that's alright. Okay, so we've also got one train that I've got set up so that basically kids can muck around with it sort of thing um, 
uh, make sure that the little lights are on and make sure that there's no oh there you go yeah I want to put this on the display so I've got one little train oh gee took that up just a moment so here we go oh, we've had one so there we go that's what I was talking about Carriages and trains all up the main street of Peterborough, so I've got to clean that up now. Uh, but yeah, I want to put this on display sooner or later, that's what it was originally built for anyway. Uh, there's only the painting down the centre to be done, and then that's about it. It should all be good after that. The bullet train goes really well, very fast. Surprisingly fast, especially for a little layout like this. Um, there's some more of the people and children playing there. Um, do a wee bit of a mess here. Oh, well, oops. Uh, the old pub. And the railway line that used to go into there. And of course the survey. Um, yeah. There's the mechanics business. Uh, and so forth. So this is a 1 to 160 scale scale model railway. Alright, see you later.